Hey, what is up guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a review on a very, very, very cool tool set that I found on Amazon. I've seen these um, before, but this is a German company called Wera, Wera, Vera, I don't know, it's W-E-R-A. Got this on Amazon. Um, now, this little toolkit is like one of those kind of portable toolkits you would take, maybe put in your car. It's kind of like a little all-in-one toolkit, right? And it's going to work really well for that. But let's talk about one thing right off the bat is price. This is expensive. This is like $80, $90 for this thing right here. Now I've been looking at these for a while and randomly they came up as an Amazon daily deal for, I got this for like 67 or $68, which is like 30 bucks off. And I hopped on it right away. Now your average multi-tool kit, something similar to this from like a DeWalt or a Black & Decker or Cobalt or something like that, 30, maybe 40 bucks, which begs the question, how is this worth $90? <laughs> and I'm still not certain if it's worth $90, but this has some really, really cool features that other toolkits do not have. I have probably like six random toolkits. I have one here at the studio. I have one big one here at the studio. I have one in the car. I have one at the house. I have one in my garage. And I think I have a random one laying around in my living room somewhere. Uh, this one tops them all for sure. But is that worth $90? I don't know. Let's run through these features and I'll show you why I think it's worth more than the others. And you can kind of decide if it's worth $90. Now stay in your seats. I'm going to pan you down and we're going to run you through the features and how this kit operates. All right, so this is your box right here. You get everything in. It's a very nice quality box. You take this out right here and there you go. There's your tool set. All right, now first thing you're gonna notice is every single little bit in here is labeled, right? Um, it's printed on there, you know exactly what it is. Even the little screwdrivers, every single thing in here is labeled. Now if you notice here, you have two rows of bits in here and you access those by popping this little tab up like that. These pop out and this separates even further like that so you can access all these bits. And then you're gonna have right here at the end your adapter to where you have this little you have this little, I forgot what the hell these are called. You can take this, it clicks right in. Listen to, listen to this snap. It's a really strong magnet. It just snaps right in. It's really, really solidly built. That ain't coming out without a little bit of force. So then you can take and put any one of your bits on. Take that, you got a little 13 millimeter hand wrench, whatever. Another cool thing is all these bits are color coded. So there's other sets of wear tools, which would be like wrenches and stuff like that. And the color code is gonna be the same across the board on all of them. So a 13 millimeter wrench is gonna be the same color code as this 13 millimeter socket right here. Um, and this isn't a deep socket, it's a regular socket. Um, another cool thing they thought of that not a lot of people think of, you see this little hole right here? Let's say you need a little extra torque, you can insert like a little screwdriver in there and get some extra torque on this when you're turning it. Um, so that's a little cool thing that not a lot of people include, uh, or that not a lot of, I've never seen really actually. But I believe that's what it's for, that, or if it gets stuck while you're torquing stuff down, um, you can just use that to kind of get some extra leverage to get this out of whatever it's on. And this little hand driver just slots in like this, and then this piece right here is rubber and it just slips over the top like that and it's attached back on. Now your other hand tools are up here up top and they're gonna be locked in by this sliding like a uh, plastic piece. And all you do is slide this back like that to access this little ratchet and slide it back this way and pull this, uh, whatever you'd call this out. I don't know what the heck, it's like a quick release. Um, and more on this in just a second. This quick release is really awesome. So this is just gonna be your little mini ratchet. You take your quarter inch adapter, you throw it on there like that, and then you can grab a bit, throw it in, and then you have a ratcheting driver. You switch it with the lever right there. It's either one or the other, there's no neutral or anything, but you don't really need that. Um, this is your ratchet right there. You take that out, you got that. Now, let's talk about this quick release right here. This thing is super duper cool. I've seen a lot of pretty cool quick releases. This one tops them all. So this one, let's take a bit out of here. Let's grab a golden Phillips head, those look cool. So all you would do is you take this, you just push it in like that, and it snaps in and it's not coming out, right? It's locked in there all the way. So you can just take that on there, throw it there like that, and then you have this quick release on top of your little hand driver. To get this piece out, you just pull this up, and that comes out like that. Now this quick release, it can be locked up like that, or it can be locked back like that. Either way, whenever you put your bit in like this, it's gonna lock down on it. See that? See how it's locked down now? And you have to push up to pull this out, right? 
So even if it's back, like it's in lock position, you can put this in still, just slide it in and it locks in. It ain't coming out. That's a feature I've never seen on any other uh, quick release thing. Um, another thing is these, these parts turn right here. If you see that, these turn. So you can grab this, get a little extra stability while you're screwing stuff in, which is very cool. So again, you just pop this forward. That's gonna slide out. You just grab another bit, throw it in. And again, it ain't coming out. It's locked in until you release it and it comes out. This is the best quick release little socket thing I've ever come across for sure. All right, let's put our bits back in. That's another thing with these tool kits. Um, whenever I buy the cheap ones, the bits just kind of get lost. Um, when I'm using this, I, I just feel like I have to put the bits back in because of how expensive this is. Um, you take a little bit more pride in it, I guess, when it's more expensive. So mentally, it kind of keeps, it's like a mental trick to keep all your bits with this. So that's kind of cool. And this quick release, of course, just slides right back in here like that. You can slide this over and then you can take your, take your ratchet, throw it in there, slide that closed just like that and it's locked down, right? Or one last bit in there. And that goes in there like that. Now around on the back here, you have a belt clip um, this is just um, a clip, a simple clip for the belt. A lot of the other wear tools like this little, um, this little multi-tool right here. Um, this one's really cool too, actually. I'll do a video maybe separately on this one. But this one right here just comes in a pouch and a lot of the wear tools come in a pouch like this that has a Velcro Thing on the back and then inside the box it will have this um, thing you could stick on the side of a toolbox or like if you're in a work van in, inside of your work van um, but me personally I'll probably never ever use that feature this could come in handy I'm, I'm, I'm not using much of a belt clip wear but you could just take this throw it on your belt and every every single tool on this is going to be accessible from above when you're when you when you have it strapped to a belt you, ev everything your sliding mechanism up here to unlock your ratchets all your bits when they pop out are going to be easily accessible by hand um, the only problem you might have is like the bit the bits underneath but you could just kind of uh, pull it out a little bit so you can see the numbers on the sides and you can get whichever um, whichever uh, driver thing you need. All right, so again, that is the Wear Tool Check Plus. Um, whether this is worth $90 or not is kind of up to you. I think now that I have it in hand, yes, it is worth $90. I think all these bits are like laser etched, I believe. Um, it, the printing on them is really good. You know exactly which, which, which bit you're reaching for. You know exactly which um, socket you're reaching for. I like this a lot. I've used it a little bit and I'm gonna use it a lot more and I have no doubt that it's gonna stay together because like I said, the intangible kind of psychological effect of this costs almost $100 so I wanna keep all the bits in it, right? So there's gonna be that constant psychological thing in your heads telling you, at least for me, that hey, keep your stuff in the in the kit. All my other kits, all the, all the bits and the sockets are scattered around everywhere else. Um, this one has stayed together. I've only used it twice, but it has stayed together. I haven't lost any of the bits. So that is definitely a plus and again I'll link this down below where to find it on Amazon there are gonna be a, a bunch of different people selling these so sometimes you can get it cheaper I'll, I'll, I'll link down the, the cheapest one I can find uh, as far as like Amazon Prime or whatever um, so maybe there might be one a little bit cheaper for you know 80 something dollars who knows uh, but I'll link that down below and again guys this has been the wear a tool check plus Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll be, maybe be able to get back to you. If you want to know what each and every single bit is going to be, there it's going to be listed on the uh, the Amazon listing for sure. If you like this video, hit the like button. Okay, just do it. It's simple. Okay, nerd. And that is the end of the video, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.